Rhapsody of Realities Daily Devotional Tuesday the 5th of September by Pastor Chris The topic, Keep Satan in Check Our first verse So be subject to God, resist the devil, stand firm against him, and he will flee from you. James 4, 7 Our opening scripture implies that you have a responsibility to keep Satan in check to restrain him from carrying out his manoeuvres, manipulations and destructive acts of wickedness. The Bible describes him as a liar, the father of lies, and the originator of deception. Jesus said in John 8.44, He was a murderer from the beginning, and abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. That's his role. He's a killer. Satan doesn't seek friendship, but rather aims to kill. Deception and destruction are among the many works attributed to him. He is referred to as the evil one and the wicked one, meaning that all his works are evil. These descriptions clearly demonstrate we can't give him a chance. Thank God we have the ability to take action against him. In Mark 16, 17, the Lord Jesus said, And these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name shall they cast out devils. So we must cast him out of our nations, cities, streets, homes and our environments. Otherwise he will keep doing things that are inherent to his nature. Evil, wickedness, killings and deception. God didn't say, resist the devil and he might flee. No, when you resist the devil, James by the Spirit tells us the result. He'll run away from you in terror. When you see the works of Satan in your city, in your country, in your family or anywhere, do what the Word says. Resist him by affirming the Word of God and on certain occasions cast him out. Let's say this prayer confession together. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I resist the devil's influence in my life, in my family, city and nation, through the word and by the spirit, I discern and identify the works of the devil. and stop him in his tracks from manipulating, deceiving and misleading the nations, the leaders and the people. Amen.